Hello guys, it's Jen and I'm back again with another video and you cannot see my face. This video is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to walk you guys through some computer processes versus you actually seeing me. Um, if you clicked on this video, you are planning a wedding um, and if you're planning a wedding in Charlotte more specifically then this is definitely the video for you. Now if you're planning a wedding in Charlotte at the Harvey B. Gantt Center then this is definitely definitely the video for you but for anyone else that just wants to get a few tips on planning their wedding on venue selection then this is also the video for you I want to say congratulations on your new engagement I wish you and your hubby all of the best or your wife because sometimes women do not want to plan weddings um so I wish you guys all of the best and I wanted to talk about Harvey B. Gantt. So Joe and I, we chose Harvey B. Gantt Center because it is an African-American arts museum, um, which focuses on African-American culture. We're very proud of the race that we have or possess. So we wanted to showcase that to all of the people coming to our wedding. Now with venues, most of the time they have um, a website area call their space rentals or things like that where you can get more information on hosting your wedding there. So that is what I'm at right now is their space rental section and I'm going to click on their weddings at the Gantt and that will lead me to a place that will show me um, all of the information I need. I also wanted to insert some real footage. Um, so this is what the Gantt looks like on the outside and on the inside. Um, all the way up to the rooftop so you see that you do have a good bit of space when you do choose to have your event here um, all right now let's get into this PDF all right so when you first click on it they offer a variety of different packages um, the package that oh and also they do have the event planners information but they do offer a variety of packages and you need to choose the package that suits you best the package that fit us was the elegant package it allowed us to have the rooftop terrace for the ceremony which you can see right here this is the inside of the rooftop terrace and right here um, you'll kind of see the outside this is the mezzanine, which will be our cocktail area for cocktail hour, which is where the guests will go directly after the ceremony. And now you can see how I will arrive along with my bridal party. We will be coming up these escalators and the escalators lead up to where our seated dinner reception space will be. So you'll see once we get up these escalators it opens up to the grand lobby so the grand lobby is where the seated dinner will be and um where the where the main food area will be right here in this grand lobby area which is pretty spacious it also um is underneath the mezzanine so you can see where people will be able to overlook and see the actual dining area where they will be sitting which I think is pretty cool. I love how large the windows are. Look at Joe. <laughs> I love how large the windows are. Um, it's just a very nice space. And so that's what we get with that package. Now for other people that are getting married, um, if you do want to have just a reception, they also offer that. And they offer the view of the museum galleries along with the reception, which is another really great deal. Now... There are things included with our package, like the complimentary champagne toast for the bride and groom, on-site manager, in-house table and chairs, which is great because that cuts your rental cost, and then access to the preferred Gantt's catering list, which I'll talk about a little bit later. Now, frequently asked questions is, do you make a deposit? Yes, you do make a deposit at the Gantt. The deposit is 50% of what your actual budget is. So we budgeted for the Elegant package. That's 3550 So your deposit is half of that to secure your booking with them. Another thing is there are additional fees of security, of janitorial staff, and of event staff. So you want to uh, make sure that that cost is either low or... Um, included. The cost for us was not included, which is another reason why I say 
go to different venues. Joe and I, we really, really wanted to have our wedding at this space. So we decided to eat all of the additional costs. But for anyone else that's getting married, you can you can find a place where all of these costs are um, not really a factor. It all depends on what it is that you want to do. Um, the fact that we do not have to rent tables and chairs, but that is a great rental cutting cost because that literally only leaves us having to pay for the linen. For the linen. Another thing about venues is you want to look out for their alcoholic beverage information. There are some venues, ours is one of them, that does not allow outside, outside alcoholic vendors. So that means that nobody can come into your wedding with a flask or they can't get caught anyway. They can't come into your wedding with a flask. They can't bring their own alcohol. If they do and it's discovered by staff, they will be asked to vacate the premises. So... If alcohol costs is something that you don't want to worry about, then I will go on ahead and make sure that that is not a factor when I book um, with a vendor. Now, um, also a preferred caters list. Some vendors have a preferred caters list where you can only choose from these caters. And um, we went through all of them and we picked the caterer that suited us best. We decided to go with Passion Fruit Caters and deal with Chef Camille, who was absolutely awesome. Um, she gave us a great quote and she did an absolutely wonderful tasting. Another thing that I want to point out about tastings is you're not there to eat every single thing that you asked for. You're there to see if they know how to cook. So if they know how to cook and their rice tastes good, their beans taste good, their enchiladas taste good, then you already know, okay, this food is going to taste good for the wedding. So don't really focus on what they're feeding you. Just focus on the flavor and the taste of what you're getting. Now, this is the last tip that I have for you guys in terms of, well, not the last tip, but um, venue space. Look on Airbnb.com. I wish that I had did this before. Um, beforehand but like I said Joe and I we really wanted to get married where we're getting married but go on ahead and put in the max amount of guests for the Airbnb so that you can get the largest homes that they offer in your area make sure that you go to your exceptions or your um, your page pick that the entire house you don't want to rent a room and then there are also more filters go to that filter and pick a large kitchen and um, house rules that are suitable for events. Now, if you pick, oh, and free parking. I also pick free parking. Now, once you search, you will see homes that are actually built for hosting parties. And you can rent out this little, you can rent out this little $500 a day venue instead of worrying about trying to get married in a very expensive place. You won't have to worry about alcohol costs. You won't have to worry about security. You won't have to worry about all of the added things when you do choose professional vendors. If you just rent out someone's house, the only person that you're worried about is the actual host of the home um, instead of all of the other things that come along with it. And Airbnb, when I was looking, they really did have some really nice homes on the outside because I would want an, out, an outdoor wedding. Um, so they had really nice homes, really clean bathrooms. So if you guys are looking to cut costs tremendously, I recommend you go with an Airbnb. Go ahead and host a little wedding party of your own and um, really enjoy yourself, kick back, and you'll have it for the whole night. So you know that the party can go over. You don't have a limit. You don't have a limit on how much alcohol people can drink. You don't have a limit on, on anything because you're literally just hosting one big party at your home. Um, one thing to keep in mind when you are designing to go with um, an Airbnb is that your rentals will then go up because you have to rent tables. You have to rent chairs. Um, linen, you probably have to rent wherever you have your wedding but in terms of um, party rentals it's no joke that stuff will add up so it's cheaper to rent a <clears throat> it depends on how you feel because it might be better for you to just rent a cheaper venue and you'll go ahead and borrow tables and chairs if you know you know a church that will let you borrow it or something like that 
So really use your resources, really talk to people and see what they can do to help you out. And you will be surprised. Some people probably got like 10, 15 tables and chairs in their house from a party they had for their grandmother when she turned 80. And they'll probably let you use it for free. Um, so Airbnbs are also really good for you to look into. Okay, so I know you guys are now like, wait, she didn't tell us everything. I want to know the exact cost of these security guards and these janitors and everything. So here you guys go. This is the complete cost sheet. Um, and this is exactly what your amenities cost sheet will look like if you book with the Gantt. Um, get six hours of security staff, eight hours of front door security staff. Oh, six hours of event staff, I'm sorry. Um, security staff. So right here, you see all of the breakdowns for that. Um, they literally do break down everything. Um, and then everything is included. Now, when you see included, honey, that means that that is zero cost added to you. That is a good thing. So we already know that we do not have to worry about table and chair rentals. Um, and then let's go down to the added amenities. What we decided to add was the white leather sofa set and the gallery time. Now, um, Camille was very, very good to us. I meant Chanel, I'm sorry. Chanel was very good to us in terms of the gallery time because she only charged us for 75 persons instead of the entire 140 guests that we have at our wedding. Um, and it was because we told her that we have older people, we have younger people, and some people may not even be interested in going in and things like that. So she cut us a really good deal there. Um, and she also cut us a good deal in the open bar because she only quoted us for 115 guests. Now, what we're going to do with the open bar is we're going to offer wristbands. Um, so if you put down when you RSVP for our wedding that you are going to participate in drinking, you will be giving a wristband. You will be given a wristband and that will allow you to have um you know all access to the open bar but those of you that do not rsvp and do not ask for a wristband then those people miss out and that's another thing because it is your wedding day you have that right to have people accommodate you and let you know early what it is that they wish to do so this is the entire tea honey you get the grand total of the venue if you book with harvey b gantt center in the way that we did. You also get a little bit of advice on the booking process. And I hope that this tea was sip worthy, honey. Um, be blessed. Stay stress free. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week, wonderful month, wonderful year. Happy planning. Be blessed and stay stress free. And I will see you guys in my next video. If anyone else wants videos that are blatantly honest about weddings, um, cost, price, any of that, you want me to dive deeper into everything that we dealt with with the caterer and things like that, then go on ahead and let me know and I will hit you guys with another video. Until then, bye. So I didn't want to leave you guys empty handed. I decided to give you 21 questions to ask your venue when you go to view them or tour them. I hope that this information is helpful and now I am done.